We'll walk around compound, see some tigers, and maybe hear squeaks. Goodness gracious. That was, that was dramatic. That was a, that was a somewhat, that was a somewhat dramatic move. Meaning, there was, there was lots of growling and yelling. <laughs> I mean, you see this, you see this curious and sniffing kitty cat who is exploring his new enclosure and being very cute. <laughs> you see that now and then you think like, oh my gosh, this is great. Munch, you're just taking to this like a duck to water. Um, I mean, sure, once you put the duck in the water, good thing, but if when, when we first showed the duck the water, the duck was like, you get me away from that water. You got me away from that water. But that was. Yeah, he's kind of got a hunchy thing kind of going on, doesn't he? I I didn't know. I never really. I never noticed that. I literally never noticed that until you just mentioned it, and now I'm never gonna. Never noticed he's a hunchy munchy. <laughs> hunchy munchy. I've never noticed it. Now I can't not see it. And now I cannot. I cannot not see it. Yeah, yeah, that can be. Yeah, tigliosis. Oh. Sorry. Do not joke about Munchie. I'm not joking about Munchie, but that was, uh, Munchie had opinions about the move, though. Yeah. He did. I had opinions about you filming me after I'm sorry for doing this. I, you, you're still beautiful. <clears throat> but yeah. Again, he's doing good right now. Duck to water. But it's almost kind of like if you, if a duck had never been exposed to water ever before in its life, and then you like held the duck over the water. The duck would be like, get me the hell away from that, whatever that stuff is. Ah, 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 ah. And, then, and, then you, and then you just toss it in and it splooshes and then it immediately goes, ah, ah. Oh, 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 this is nice. This feels very natural. That's kind of what that was. Oh my gosh, yeah. Because, okay, we had gotten him in the transport cage. The transport cage was moved up over here because people asked, like, how do you move the tigers? How do you move the cats from one enclosure to another? And it was a transport cage. So basically, we it's a, it's a small square cage with sliding gates that you can lock, and it's on wheels. So we take it up into the other enclosure. We put it up next to the gate. We secure it in place, make sure that it's not going to go anywhere, make sure that, you know... Uh, can't go, can't go under, can't go above, all that fun stuff. Open up the gates, cat goes in, you slide the gates shut, and then they go, they go on a magic ride. You, 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 you stroll them, you wheel them through the compound. You wheel them through the compound, and then you take them to the new, you take them to the new enclosure. That's how that works. That's how you move cats from one to another. Oh my gosh, munch, 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 munch. And uh, everything was going just fine. Everything was going just fine. And then we got Munch over to the gate right here. And then Kiara was just like, hey, who's that cute new boy moving in next door? And that just, he just went like, ah! He went, ah! He started just doing like circles. Ah! Inside the little, oh no! Just to insert. Oh, look at him. Look at him. He's digging it now. He's digging it now. But yeah, in that, so like, you know, we like, ah, we had to open up the door. Like, we need the key. We got a key. And then 
you know, open up the thing. And then <laughs> here's the thing. Okay, so he's in the transport cage and he's just like, Get her. and like, of course, Destiny is trying to get the interns and she's trying to lock up Kiara because Kiara's freaking munch out. And then there's a little bit like from here to the ground. Okay, he had to step down from here down to here. And he would get up to the, he'd get up to the door and he'd look down and it basically, he saw like the Grand Canyon opening up before him and he's like, that's too far down. That's too far down. And then he would just go back to, ah. <laughs> and of course Heidi had to talk to him, be like, munch, 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 munch. Calm down, calm down. And of course, like he was just like, <sighs> I'm not having a good time. It's okay, Munch. It's okay. And he, like me and Sean, Sean and I are 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 bracing the transport cage up against the thing because here's the other thing. It's like fully expecting for him to basically uh, to like kick off. It's almost kind of like you know how if you're a track and field runner. Uh, you have like the, the, the starting blocks and then you, you, you have something. So like the same kind of concept applies, you know, you have a tiger that is like really hyped up and they can kick off to get into the enclosure. So you have to kind of brace it. You have to push back that way. Another way that you can do it is you just get ratchet straps and then just, you just tie it to the actual enclosure. Uh, everything seemed to be going fine. Like he was, he loaded fine. No problems. Loaded fine. <laughs> Wasn't until he got there. He's like, ah, <laughs> <laughs> but it's always, it's like that's like here's the thing that stuff it just it happens it's not like a and then again it's like literally as soon as his feet he's just like ah and it touched grass and he was like oh oh <laughs> oh <laughs> oh this is nice <laughs> it was like instantaneous instant you're such a goober you are such a goober. Ooh. Munch. So yeah. New enclosure. <laughs> Yay. Uh, hello, all you big cat lovers out there. It's me, Derek, again. Welcome to another super duper fantastic episode of the Walk Around the Compound webcast. Hi, how are you? Kiara, look at what you did. Look at what you did. You caused drama. Yeah, yeah you did. Yeah. Yeah, you did. That was you. You didn't have to be so forward. You were being somewhat forward. He's not used to that. He's just a boy. And you're a lonesome cougar. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Munchy, munchy, munchy. How are you doing? Are you doing no better now? <laughs> You're kind of scrunching your nose a little. You, you were. What's the matter? Okay. I just gotta give you some time. Just kind of adjust. Adjust your. And I love it how, like, the volley's over there looking over here, and Nadal's over there looking over here. And then you look over there. I think that's Luca. And, and everyone's just like, oh, I gotta look at the new kid. Go look at everyone's like it's like in the lunchroom like oh look at the spaz <laughs> look at the spaz now ah, you watching the show yeah they're all taking bets they're all taking bets kind of like uh, in Shawshank Redemption. You know, they're like, ah, I got three drumsticks that says that the no stripes is gonna freak out. Like, ah, I'll take that bet. And then it's no stripes by a nose. And he's, I ain't supposed to be here. <laughs> Please, I ain't supposed to be here. Oh. It is a beautiful day. It is, I mean, it is beautiful. It is so nice. It was pretty windy out. Right now, it is just, it's magnificent. I don't know, it's probably like 72, 70, 70, 75. 
It's amazing. It's like, it is perfect. The air is, is very still. It was breezy today. It was breezy. The air, still. Still. It's going to cool down tomorrow, but I think it'll only be in the 50s. Maybe a little moist. Maybe a little bit of moisture will be in the air. <sighs> Otherwise, very nice. Otherwise, very nice. Jake, 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 Jake. Jake, 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 Jake. Yake. Yak. Yakisoba noodles. Hmm. I see. Everyone was fed like a tremendous, a tremendously large amount of meat last night. So everyone is basically, I mean, they are bushed. They are bushed. Y'all know. Hi. Hello. Hi. I just wanted to make sure that you were okay. He's like, yeah, I'm fine. I think he actually has his leg in there. And if I'm not mistaken, they probably gave him like one of the big legs because there was like a draft horse that came in. Just some big like Clydesdale thing. Huge. Huge. Uh, I, I've, I've butchered horses in the past. Like draft horses. Um, and uh, And having the legs like hanging on the tractor they uh they're as tall as me like separated from the body it's insane i'm six foot two and that's just like yeah i think i have pictures somewhere but that's one of those kind of things where it's like i think i have pictures somewhere but it's probably in a in a file like somewhere locked away in a uh in a hard drive that I removed from a computer like four computers ago. So, you know what I mean? And it's just, gonna, that's hard. That's gonna be hard. Well, babe, sorry. I was doing, I was making gross sounds with my mouth. <gasps> Ren. 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 Melissa says hi. Melissa says hi. <laughs> oh. I wonder if I had low enough, would I be able to do one of those things? Oh. Very nice. It's very nice. <sighs> Magic. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Ah. I love stuff like that. So I posted on my uh, on my Instagram. Posted that on my Instagram a few days ago. There's times when it's just everything is just so right. Everything is just so right. The air, the light, the sounds, just the clarity, the crispness. Not just of the visuals, but just of the experience. And then you wonder what is like because it makes me feel like a deep sense of connection to my surroundings. Deep sense of connection. I was kind of alluding to that and I was basically saying it's like, it's like, it's like I can, it's not just, it's not just so much that I'm trying to just capture something that is 
objectively aesthetically pleasing it's almost more like I'm I'm feeling I'm feeling this kind of pulsating this coursing kind of thing this connective energy that just kind of is there and it's not just like this not just like this metaphorical and it it's in a way it's almost like is it there is it is it psychologic is it something that is purely like like physiologic I am just a feeling a sense of awe and connection and that's triggering certain kind of chemical um, hormonal releases inside my brain and I'm having some sort of kind of you know like a euphoric heightened experience that is that is purely physiologic that could be it or is there actually something to the notion that it's like there's there's something at the fringes of my perception there's something there and that this sense of awe and love and beauty and connection I feel not just with these animals but sometimes when I'm filming I feel it just I feel it in the air I feel it in the ground I just feel it all around <laughs> I should have some bongos or something <laughs> I feel it in the air. <laughs> no, but but for real, I do. I, I I. It's more than just like I feel the sense of emotion. There's parts of me that like wonder, like, am I actually like feeling something? Or is it just my brain doing stuff? And either way, it's it doesn't matter. Like I'm. I don't. I don't try to sit there and figure it out so much I don't sit there and try to like oh, let me just try to break this down so much I more or less just try to enjoy it and just uh, and and just enjoy the feeling the one the oneness the senses of oneness and that's why a lot of times uh, that's why a lot of times my filming style is the way that it is. Now, of course, there's a lot of times where I'm just being silly or I'm being informational. But there's also a lot of other times where I'm very much so, I'm very specifically trying to focus on the aesthetic, the beauty. I'm trying to focus on the light. I'm trying to focus on the sound. I'm trying to, in essence, capture through here. <laughs> I'm trying to capture through this uh, this digital device the feeling that I experience when I'm out in this when I'm out in this environment, and I know that I can't I can't fully do that because the device that I'm using is not as complex as the device of me. The totality of me. All of my sensory... Uh, all of my, my sensory apparatus and my cognitive apparatus. You know what I mean? So, a little bit different. But yes, but yes, I try to capture it, and sometimes I get kind of close, sometimes I get a little bit closer than other times, sometimes it's like, I'll get, I'll get a picture, I'll get an image, I'll get a, I'll get a thing that conjures a feeling, somehow, that does, it doesn't quite match the feeling I get out here, but it has some of the essences. It has some of the flavors. 
And if I can just get a little bit, if I can get a little bit of that, the stuff that I feel when I'm physically standing in this compound and I'm just, I'm, I'm communing, especially in these, like the sunset times, that golden hour time, which that's a photography kind of thing. Sure. But then of course there's always, there's always, there's, there's been historical connotations, uh, spirituality kind of things that have linked like sunrise and sunset times um, almost with like the overlapping of two worlds like the waking world and the metaphysical worlds but that can be a little bit more um, I think that that's a little bit I think that more kind of goes along with some of your more Eastern philosophies and whatnot. Hey. Oof. I don't know. It could be something that is just completely empirical, completely clinical, or it could be something more. But then if it's a part of the world, doesn't that mean that everything is basically empirical? It doesn't mean anything can be clinical. It doesn't mean everything can have some sort of rational explanation. No matter how beautiful and wonderful and magnificent and magical, omniscient, who knows? Oh, I didn't go and see Raven. How rude. How rude. I guess it's also because, like, there's times where it's like I'm out here and... I know these animals. Hi. Oh, you have a leg. That's a very nice leg. That's a very nice leg. I'm not going to try to take your leg. I'm not going to try to take your leg. Okay. <laughs> I'm not going to try to take it. I guess it's also the, the context. The context of, you know. It's like, I guess it's because I know them, the animals. I know when they're, I know when they're, or I can have a better sense of when they're, when they're feeling good and when they're feeling frisky or when they're feeling anxious or when they're feeling nervous, mad. So that's also, it's like, I can, it's like, I have an understanding of their emotional state and and then there's mine and it's just it's a mixture of perception and environment and communication with other living things and then it just makes I don't know makes me feel I told people on Twitter um, that uh, lion that lion nipples are like shark teeth, and that they just they just periodically fall off, and new ones just kind of like fill in behind them. I think that maybe one or two of them believe me. <laughs> hmm. Oh. Look at your blep tongue. Look at your blep tongue. Look. Message on a bat, y'all. Message on a piat, y'all. Hi. Hi, me to Pita. I know some kitties are a little bit upset at me because I was on the lawnmower today. They're just like, you get out of here. <laughs> I remember what you were doing earlier. I remember. Don't you think that you can come over here and then we're all of a sudden going to be best, best buds? Don't you think that we're going to be BFFs all of a sudden? 
you are riding that that monster chariot. Hi, hi, hello, hello, hi, pretty. Okay, okay. Sometimes they calm down some a lot of they, they, you know, they don't. <laughs> sometimes they do. Uh, sometimes they do. What if it remember when I this thing? Let's try. Let's try that. She had some, she had some curled up lips, and she was just like, mm -mm, "Nope, not happening, not happening." Ooh. 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 What? 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 Choo 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 Mr. Choo Choo Hello Choo Choo Oh, are you feeling better now? We had a wonderful group, wonderful group visit today. Staff members of the upcoming, uh, staff members for the Furry Fiesta, the upcoming convention. They have us back every year. It's going to be 11 years, 11th year in a row that we have gone and been the featured charity for the Texas Furry Fiesta Convention. And the staff, the people who put this on, who they they do the they do the logistics, they do the booking, they do the IT, they do the security, they do the direction. They have all of these different things that they do and they wear so many hats. Uh we got to have a nice tour slash picnic for them today. And it was great because the weather was fantastic. We've had multiple different, um, like appreciation, like appreciation barbecues for the TFF staff <laughs> that have gotten rained out. We've had multiple ones. It's awful. It is like, there was a while where we thought that our that our plans were cursed. And this sucks because we're talking about basically this the organization who uh I, more than likely you, you you could definitely argue the single as far as like singular entity the single greatest benefactor uh the the single the greatest in like individual entity benefactor of the Center for Animal Research and Education. And we're trying to get these wonderful people like something to like, hey. Ew. No one likes that. Stop trying. Stop trying to make Dorbs happen. It's never gonna happen, Slade. It's never gonna happen. Ugh. Yuck. Ooh. Hi. Hi. I mean, that. Gross. Want to know what I think of you? What think of you? 
Um, but no, we, we finally had, uh, finally had an event. Ezzy was not happy. He was being very, very get away from me, but that's also because uh, we were mowing enclosures. We were mowing enclosures earlier. And Ezzy Choo Choo does not like lawnmowers. Hates them. Thinks they are the devil. Lawnmower is all the devil, Bobby Boucher. <laughs> Ezzy Boucher. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Lions, are, lions are angry because they got all their nipples, but they don't got a, they don't got a nipple brush. <laughs> what? What does that even mean? Anyway, <sighs> they were here. And the convention's going to be at the end of the month, so the convention hasn't even done yet. So that's another great thing is that we were able to actually have. The people here, we were able to have the visitors here prior to the convention. And it's crazy because, <sighs> hi baby. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I, I, I blew a small gust in your direction and I caused you to fall down. Oh no, princess fell over. <sighs> and then she fell down and she fell down. Princesses are delicate, you know. They're very, very delicate. You have to be so careful with them, to be so careful. But it's crazy because there are people here that I have been seeing at the actual conventions themselves. I have been seeing these people at the conventions for years. Like, they're familiar people. I'm just like, what's up? And I'm like, you know, just friends. Just, hey! Hugs and high fives and all that stuff. And then before the tour, it's like, okay. And it's, I've, we have done so many different kind of like, okay, there's different kind of uh, TFF groups that would come through here and there. There's so many different ones over the years. So it's like, there's people that I remember, that I've seen at the cons, there's people that I've seen here, there's people I've seen here and the cons, and it's like, great, okay, that's how that is. Then I, I, before today, I was just like, okay, show of hands, like who's never been here before? Who's never been, who's never been here at the Center for Animal Research and Education? And there's like a few people, there's a handful of people, like I said, that I have known and seen at the conventions that they've invited us to, they would come up to our table at the dealer's den and be like, hey, what's up, Eric? And I'm like, what up? And then they raise their hand. And then I'm like, are you kidding? Wait, you've never been here before. You've never been here? And they're like, yeah, we've never been here. It's like, what? Mind blown. Mind blown. Blown. <laughs> See, it, it kind of lost its, lost its magic because I didn't, I screwed up the zoom and I kind of just, my mind blow. You see, it should be like, mind blow. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's two separate video files. Yeah. <laughs> Zuby, Zuby, Zuby. <laughs> okay. Mind blow. <laughs> Why is that? It shouldn't be as funny to me as it is, but it is. It just is. Don't judge. I like the things that I like. That's how it is. And that's how it's gonna be. And that's the bottom line. Cause they're content so. Stone Cold E.T. That's actually, there's a pretty good, uh, pretty good video on the YouTube, if you ever get a chance. If you are a fan of silly videos, and you are also a fan of the WWE, well back then it was WWF, the Attitude Era of the late 90s, slash very early 2000s, you know. Back when it was, you know, The Rock and Stone Cold Steve Austin and there was the Mankind and all that stuff. You're a fan of that. Gotta look on the YouTube for Stone Cold E.T. It's a guy wearing an E.T. mask and he's, he's at White Castle and he's ordering hamburgers. But he does a, just a spot on, 
I mean, a just ridiculous, like a v- extremely good Stone Cold Steve Austin uh, impression. But he calls it like, oh, I'm Stone Cold Steve, I'm Stone Cold E.T. I'm here at White Castle. <laughs> it's, yeah, it sounds like really silly, but for some reason it works. Ah, if you're, again, if you're a fan of silliness, fan of the WWE Attitude Era, you'd be like, this, this is great. Hi, Lackey. Hi. Hey. Hi. Hey. What? What? <laughs> Why did I just snuffle at you? <laughs> I am so, I am so offended. You're right. I would be too. Oh my gosh. Ah, uh, that's like going up to like someone in Tokyo and being like, "Ha ha, bonjour." <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. My cat culture. <laughs> I am I my I am not very sensitive when it comes to cat culture. My cat cultural sensitivity needs some work. Keep these. Uh Hey there. Hey. 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 Oh. I can't wait till I get one of new phone. I just need to wait. Just need to wait. Because this is one of the stupid things. It's like, you know, like, oh, the Galaxy S10 Plus is going to be pretty great. And that's going to be on. I'm going to get it. And then all of a sudden you see, like, articles who are just like, before you buy the Samsung Galaxy F10 Plus, the Note 10 is going to blow the Galaxy 10 out of the water. And then I'm like, is it now? <laughs> well, well, wait a minute. <laughs> and it's going to be here at the end of this spring. This thing's going to be here by spring. This one's going to be here by the end of spring. Oh, you don't want to be a chump, do you? And I'm like, I don't, I'm not a chump. I'm, I, I'm looking at the, I'm looking, and it's like stupid little ads that are showing up on my phone. Then I'm talking to my phone like, I ain't a chump. <laughs> mm. I'm waiting for more specs to come out before I make a decision. <sighs> I was uh, watching, I was, you know, you go into these things like, I was watching, there's like, yeah, I think he was from Belgium or something like that, and he was doing, it was literally just low light he's doing low light video comparisons between uh like the iphone x the google pixel something something and then the s10 he's just watching that it was like a 10 minute video i watched the whole thing <laughs> i'm like mm. oh Oh, wow, you know, you really can see some of the color schemes of that building a lot better. I would have ended it by now. I would have ended the cast by now. Had I not seen that. So, I'm going to go over to that. And I guess I will be able to just kind of like go back to where we, where we began. We can go by Munch. Go by the Munch. I swear you're avoiding me, Carrie Lynn. Let me see Mr. Nadal. Oh, this one is a lot longer than I was originally thinking. Did you fart? It smells like you farted. It smells like you farted. Did you fart? 
Did you make a toot? That must mean that you're comfortable. Hi. Hey. Can you sniff that? What's the stink? Oh boy. Oh my gosh, look at this pretty guy. Again, let's see if we can do the thing. Ah. Very nice. Fuzzy, but nice. Excuse me, sir. I know. You have so much more. You have so much room for activities. You have so much room for activities. All right. This one's gone on for so long. Thank you for watching this episode of the Walk Around the Compound webcast. Hashtag Dorbus Award in the comment section below. Like and subscribe for all big cat goodness. For more information about the facility that you see around you, you can always go to carerescuetexas.com. Ah, oh, firebug, firebug. Were you just talking? Were you just, were you just talking to whoever would listen? Huh? You have a very beautiful voice. You have a very beautiful voice. Thank you very much for letting us know. For singing for us. Good girl. All right. <laughs> I'll talk to you folks later. Bye-bye.